I wanted to be a wife and a mother that was different than the wife that I had seen my mother be and give my children a different childhood that I had. And so I had spent my years dreaming of what I thought a marriage should be and what a husband should be and one who would protect me and guide me and um, love me. I grew up not knowing what a family was. My mother's identity came from men. I saw men come in and out of our home. We were sworn to secrecy. Our house as a child was very chaotic. and We never knew if my dad was drinking when he came home, if and when he came home. My dad raped me at the age of six and throughout um, my life up until about the time I was 16. And you know, everything about my childhood, it was just, um, it was lonely, it was, it was hard, it was not what a child deserved to have. I continued to follow in the life of finding men who were abusive, what I knew, abusive um, alcoholics, but all I wanted was to be loved, and for me, being loved was having a sexual relationship. I was willing to do anything to have that. I left my husband and my children for another man. It was very hard. Um, you know, I learned behavior. I was doing all of the things that I had promised and wanted never to do um, to my children. I was repeating that behavior. I felt dirty, I felt shameful, I felt um, guilty. I didn't want the life that I had. I wanted to be um, different. I would say, okay, Lord, you know, I'm gonna just trust you and I'm gonna share the desires of my heart with you. And we're just gonna walk this out because you're all I've got. That night I asked Jesus into my life. He was my only hope because the course I was taking was a crash course and I needed him. And this was in February. Well, in March, April, I met a man. And I just knew he was from God. By August, Jay and I were engaged. We would bought a beautiful home together. And he loved me and he loved my children. God spoke to me one day as clear as clear can be. And he said, he said to me, he goes, how can I heal you? if you're not willing to heal yourself. I gave him his ring back. And um, I told him, I said, God has spoken to me personally. And um, I have to trust him. And I have to let him be um, the husband that I've never had the father that I never had. I have to let him provide for me because otherwise our marriage would never work. I needed someone that I could trust, that I could share my deepest, darkest secrets with. I had started Christian counseling with a, um, an inner healing process with an amazing woman named Joyce. There were days where we would just pray and we wouldn't say anything. And there were other days where we would go through step by step as if peeling an onion and just revealing and, and 
um, and each layer that came off, the closer I knew I was to a new life. It was easier for me to share what my mother had done or my father had done or my ex-husband had done. But it was harder for me to share what I had done. One day I showed up um, for our counseling session and I went in and said, okay, Joyce, I've forgiven everybody, you know, my mother for this, this, and this, my father for this, this, and this. And I said, I'm done. I am ready to go. I am ready to continue my walk with Jesus. And um, she just sat there. And she sat there. She goes, and she prayed and she said, there's still more work to be done. And I wanted to run and I wanted to go. And I couldn't because I knew what my choice was. I could either go back to the life I had or to continue on this walk. And uh, I said, okay, I've got one more thing to tell you. And um, she just sat there and prayed. And I said, my senior year of high school, I had an abortion. All I wanted was to be loved, and that's all I knew to do. And she just sat, and she sat, and she sat, and she prayed. And uh, I thought, okay, why can't I leave? And um, she just continued to sit there, and I said, okay, this is it. I'm going to tell you one last thing, and I'm finished. After I left um, the boys and their father for the other man, I said, I got pregnant. And I said, I couldn't have that child because um, of all the guilt and shame that I already carried. She just didn't say anything. She just sat there and prayed. And I thought, OK, Lord, how would she know? How could it? nobody knew um, that there was one last thing? And uh, I realized that God knew, and He wanted me pure, that He didn't want to let me go. And so I just looked at her and I said, Joyce, I said, I had one more abortion. And I said, it wasn't very long ago. I said, it was with with Jay and um, I said but the hardest part was I knew Jesus then and I didn't turn to him and I said and what it made it harder was it was uh, Jay's only child and we just sat and we prayed and I looked up and my greatest fear was that she was going to be gone, and Jesus would be gone. And yet, they were persistent, and they knew at that point that there was nothing else, and I knew at that point that I was free. I walked out of her office that day, and I no longer lived in a great world. I lived in a very black and white world. The sky was bluer, the grass was greener, the birds sang. And it was as if I walked into a whole new world. And I knew that day who I was in Him and that He loved me. And there was no more guilt and shame that it was gone. He was now carrying that for me. And I was now capable of um, being the wife and the mother that he, and the person that he created me to be. I had shared my secrets and all that I had with Jay. And he knew everything about me too. And so there were no more lies. There were no more secrets. There was... Um, a new relationship and um, 
two and a half years later, I married Jay. And it's, we've been together for 17 years. I couldn't have a marriage of, in a relationship of 17 years if God wasn't in it. I wasn't humanly possible of accomplishing that on my own or being the mother that I am to my boys today. My greatest goal in life is one day to stand before him and for, and for him to look at me and say, well done, good and faithful servant for whom I am pleased. Hurry home because you have three precious children waiting on you. I am Lisa Luby Ryan, and I thank God every single day that I am second.